Why don't you give me a sign? Like the sea that leaves a trail along that shore It's not your problem, it's mine Everybody thinks that I'm okay Sometimes I think I am too I'm on the outside looking in I'm waiting for the shockwaves to begin Oh, won't you let me hold you for one time Just a rainy day In a London cafe A London cafe Something has changed, Carol. The world's acting strange these days. The North and South at war. Monsters roaming when they should be hibernating. Hello, I'm Sophia Jessica, and welcome to the Fan Carpet. Well, yes, we see the evolution of uh, Geralt in the sense of we actually meet him. What is his Witcher family? And. Vesemir is a father figure, if 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 anything, um, and obviously Ciri is acting as a as a daughter. She's a child surprise, and so we kind of see this rather strange development between everyone, and and really experience the the deeper sides to all of these characters. In particular, playing this character, it would be her fearlessness. Um, I say I connect to that the most, you know, she's an ultimate survivor, something that I see in myself and 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 everything else, the kind of the, the physical nature of this role, the uh, oh, the magic, something I'd never done before, the fantasy world, which I'd never stepped into, um, everything. Yes, more verbose is um, is yeah, the basic of it. I really campaigned very hard to make sure that the book Geralt was present in in the show, and the book Geralt, he's got intellect, he's got wisdom, he's got a philosophical lead. And yes, there are definitely other sides from him as well. He can be a bit like a Moby child sometimes. But um, in the beginning phases, I really wanted to show this aspect of him, a man who's 70 plus years old, who's three dimensional, who's soulful. He has a, a warrior um, sort of brotherhood which amongst warrior brotherhoods is incredibly close connections and I really wanted to make sure we saw the emotionality of that. Well we left Yaskia on a mountain top and uh, well he got down somehow he probably fell down the mountain and now he's on a journey he's on a journey to try and discover who he is in comparison to who he was he is uh, standing on his own feet he's no longer defined by a friendship that he that he's now lost um, and he's putting himself in harm's way to do some good in this in this continent and that's uh, so rewarding to play it's amazing yes um, so I'm playing Francesca Finderbear um, and she's an elven leader so she's the leader of the elves um, she's very powerful um, and she's just she's just she's just fighting for the elves basically she's just fighting for life um, and yeah, I think I think I think you're gonna love her. I hope I hope you'll love her. I love her. I've, I've really enjoyed playing her. Um, she's epic. That's all I can say. She's epic. Oh gosh, um, I mean she's trying. She's trying. <laughs> but I mean both of them. They have to kind of present themselves to the world. And what's beautiful about the season is you get to see what's behind the, behind closed doors for every character, um, as well as everything they have to put on to deal with the brutality. So I think this series, I, I think just the same as se season one, what makes it so good is it's very personable, even though there's lots of magic going on, you know, it is, it is a big epic fantasy. What's very nice about it is it's very human. Um, and again, season two is the same thing. It's a very human experience, which is what made it so relatable to actually work with these characters. It made it so, you know, so good, you know, to work with these characters, because you can really put yourself in those situations. Um, so yeah, very relatable to people. That's what I would say. And the stakes are a lot higher this season as well. The characters are really being put, like, put through their paces. Uh, yeah, so it's, it's so very exciting. I think it's that, you know, I mean, I think it goes back to sort of those like old, um, 
like folklore um, uh, um, ca characters that we've sort of grown up with, you know, the sort of um, doomed demon who, um, because he's constantly trying to make the world better, is constantly on his own and therefore, uh, you know, our heart bleeds for him as much as he bleeds for us and I think that's what makes this, this role so incredibly, it taps into that sort of, uh, that, um, trope if you will and I, I think that's something that we recognize because we have all grown up with all parts of the world have ha have a similar um, folklore character that they've grown up with and I think it this really taps into that and universally so um, and I think Henry what he's done is he's just he's brought it to life in a new way um, and managed to do it so beautifully um, and I and it's captured the imagination of old fans and new fans, and I think that's what's really important. These are great stories. They take you all over, upside down and all around, and there's so much to, to get from them and to be excited by from them, and it's just wonderful that, that Henry's been able to helm this new revival of it. Well, I think I think with Geralt because because he's he's got this thing of being this you know icy he's like this icy witcher that doesn't have any feelings, but when you actually watch the show, you do see underneath that icy facade, he does have feelings, um, and I think that's what people love about him because um, you, you do get those people in life that you know they're quite blocked off, but underneath you know they're feeling everything, and I think that's what Henry does great is the fact that. Yeah, you know, you. he doesn't show the emotion, but underneath all of that, there's a lot of emotion, which you can see that comes through his character. I think he does a really good job with that. War, turmoil, xenophobia, these are the sorts of things that Lauren throws into the script with an absolute fearlessness. She is uh, sort of incapable of not addressing stuff that matters. And that is the reason why every day I come to work and, and I know that, yes, there's dragons, yes, there's magic and swords and silliness, but, it, but beneath all of that, there are these characters that are real that are uh, open and, and, and flawed and uh, emotionally raw and that's uh, that's thanks to Lauren and, and thanks to Mr. Sap Sapkowski's work basically. Oh yeah definitely I think I think um, I think just the, the elven story and I think just the Witcher in general it really touches upon real human issues that's what makes it so relatable is the fact that um, even though there's all this magic uh, and powers underneath that everyone's going through a real human experience um, and yes, I'm playing an elf, but again, you can relate to it on a human level because they're just fighting to find their place in this world. Um, so you can really, really connect to that. And it's all about family and finding your dynamics. Um, so yes, yeah, so it's, it's very relatable, I think, to, to anyone in this world. It's so complex, these elements, because we are living in a world where there's so many worlds connected to each other. Like in the real world, what the fuck, we are talking about fantasy as is something we don't understand. But it's actually the same world we are living in. We don't understand the world we are living in. So it's actually the same complex that we are working on set when we are working with fantasy. And probably that's why fantasy show is getting more and more famous, you know, and people understand it more and more because there is no difference. Um, there is something we don't understand. There's something we can't explain. There's something about nature that's stronger than us. We need to cooperate. We need to understand. And you can only do that with live with the nature. I'm so happy that I grew up living 20 years with the nature, working on the Arctic circles. Being alone with nature, you learn a lot about yourself. But when you come back down on the ground, on the earth, with all this humanity, you have to believe what you learn up there is still the power inside you and follow that road. I think new generation understand that. I think it's time now to go that way. So The Witcher for me has been a fight with all the young people believing that we want to understand nature, we want to do something, we are nature, we're going to fight with the nature, we're going to fight with ourselves, because we can't say that nature is something different from ourselves. We can't talk about two different stuff. We are the same. So that's why I, I, I love this world and, and, and whatever is about human fighting and human or monsters fighting again, time traveling or what we're believing on, it doesn't matter.
because humanity has to understand that we are nature. So the locations are amazing. Um, we did we did shoot some of it in obviously in the studios, but the locations that I went on, um, we were shooting in the forests, and you just had these beautiful redwood trees, um, and it was very earthy. Um, lots of campfires, which I love because I am a country girl myself, so I really love those locations. Um, yeah, they're, I mean the locations are absolutely stunning, and what they do, the set, the set design, they're just absolutely amazing. I think everyone's going to be blown away. What can I tell you? I don't, I don't know. Well, do you know? No, I can tell. Do you know, I can tell you about my world though? Because my world is, I am very much uh, to say, I'm Miana. No, I'm confusing them now. And um, say, it's still very much an Artusa a lot. And and but uh, but Artusa for me, anyways, become grander and huger during this season. And that's been really exciting. You know, walking across these like hallways that have been built um, uh, that I realise are, are like these caverns of Artusa that we hadn't didn't see in episode one. Oh, I mean, see, season one. Um, so that's been magic and and I have to say like huge hats off to the set department I mean the art department have created something remarkable these are hugely talented artists who are working within our industry and and we get to work on their sets and, and audiences are now going to be able to enjoy their sets. It's actually insane. I, I just remember my first day on set and you know we shot we shot a scene in the forest. Um, I didn't realise how much detail would go into it but you know you've got your immediate set and like it looks insane you know you've got all the extras that are dressed in you know like elven costume and then you look you look further down you know about th two or three fields across and they've got other you know they've got other tents that like because obviously if the camera can see that far back they need to see what else is going on so you really feel like you're in the world like it doesn't not none of it feels fake it just feels so real um but there there was one scene that i saw in adr um that at the time when we were looking at it it was just like two lights and like maybe like a blue or green screen so then actually seeing it ADR you're just like wow that is what I was looking at um, and thank god the reactions went well with what we were looking at because <laughs> I guess you just kind of have to guess what you're looking at at the time well I tell you it is a stunning world to be involved with I mean I, I I'm so happy I'm a family member and the whole family world of which are inviting me in I am the oldest family member of this family what the hell? You know, sometimes you don't believe that you are still invited. You know, generation always wants to break out of, you know, the old generation and say, we want to do our own self, we want to do it our way, you know. And they always make a revolution. And kids never do what you want to do, you know. But the love they gave me, um, because Lauren, as the showrunner, wanted to produce this uh, season with uh, a lot of emotional stuff, and that's my profession, I love that, and, and so I appreciate it. But I, I didn't know that the love for that was so huge, and, and uh, I appreciate that because I think that senses and feelings is the most important thing we can produce in our media world and give that love out to other people that they can feel when they're watching what we're doing, some emotional stuff inside themselves that can move them and, 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 and touch them. And that's what this season is about. It's about family. It's about a, a traveling in mindset of what you thought you was and not was and what you believe in. And, and I love this traveling. Well, I love Anya. I think she's absolutely amazing playing Yennefer. She's so strong. She's powerful. She's a character that knows what she wants. I, I love her. I think she's absolutely brilliant on, on screen and off screen. Great to work with. It's it's such a huge journey that everyone goes on. I, I can't sum it up for you. I wish I could, but I think that's kind of what's wonderful about The Witcher World is that you have to like you have to watch it and immerse yourself in it, um, b because it's so complex and it, it spans and reaches so far across these kingdoms. Um, but I I in terms of Tissaia, she still very much is concerned with. Yennefer, obviously, her, her sort of adopted daughter, if you will, and, and then all the other girls at Aratuza who, who matter so very much to her. But also her need and her desire to create peace within the king, you know, for, between all the kingdoms and how to sort of play that and how to remain at the center of ensuring that that happens. That really is her, her big driving force.
Yeah, that's it. I just think people are going to be taking on an epic adventure. I think people are going to be excited. Um, again, I think it's going to it's going to touch people in certain ways because it's a very human experience. Again, even though there's a lot of magic, I think it will really touch people's hearts because there's lots of stories on relationships, families, people striving to find their place in this world and trying to find their identity, which I think is just all very relevant for everyone. So I think that's what everyone's going to take from it. Um, and yeah, I think I think it's a very exciting season. I think the, 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 the highlights of the cast, Sophie Holland, our casting director, has gathered the most, the strangest, weirdest, most perfect people in the world to work with, and I adore them. Uh, the challenges are, uh, well, in the past year or two has been has been the pandemic. These amazing people that we ca I can't see. We're filming in isolation. We're shooting in uh, full PPE, and you just want to go over and hug your colleagues and hug your pals and say like, "Well done, good job, you're doing great." And we've been unable to do that, uh, and so that was that was the hardest thing. But we're all really lucky to have been able to make this and, and continue making these stories. I mean, you never see enough of us together, really. That's the truth. Um, sad. Really should just all be about us. No, it shouldn't. I'm joking. Um, uh, yeah, you do. I, I get my time with Anya, which is wonderful. One, because she's so much fun to work with. And also because I, I love the relationship, like you said, between Say and Yennefer. It's, I think it's really, really special. And it's a huge part of why I love this show so very much. Um, so, uh, yes, you, you will see us. You will see other relationships as well. Other relationships developing with... Um, uh, wow. with other of the Aratusa girls. Um, oh, it's a lot. It's, I, 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 ho I, hope, I hope you love it, but we've loved making it and, and hopefully you'll love watching it. I play Dungeons and & Dragons and now people pay me to do it. So that's, that's the main reason, yeah. I was, yeah. I mean, I played the games and I read the books and I, I, I adored them, I ripped them apart. And so I get it. I, I, more than anyone, I get why people flock to this kind of genre, these, these kinds of characters and this kind of world, because there's, there's so much to see in it. And there's so many people, and so many characters within the text that we can relate to. And uh, I know I do. And so that's what drew me to it. And that's what uh, excites me and gets me up for work in the morning. <laughs> I can't say too much because I, I don't want to let any spoilers out but Henry's Henry's amazing he's a lovely guy and just absolutely lovely to everyone on set so yes uh, it was very nice to meet him I think that the portrait of uh, Henry Cowell is a man that's fighting for just what we're talking about the nature the understanding of a humanity is a part of nature we can't separate from it but we have to learn it. And it's a traveling to, and a journey to learn that. You need time to do it. And, and, and so he is the perfect person that have played, you know, superheroes, played stars in the world that we have been looking up to. And now he's telling everybody that he believes in the senses and feelings that to corroborate and to understand nature, we have a better way to survive. I think that's strong. You know what, I've, I've had the really good fortune to, to play some characters from large IPs, and it's, it's that opportunity, it's that responsibility. You know what, both have their difficulties, they really do, uh, but sword fighting is a lot like dance, so that can be a lot of fun. Thank you for watching The Fan Carpet. Please follow us on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram for more content next time. We need your help. Fine. But first, gentlemen, it's been an honour. What? I made new friends. Get over it. <laughs> Jealous. I'm here on the largest of the Balearic Islands, Mallorca, with the turquoise waters of the Mediterranean Sea, beautiful mountainous landscape, the thriving city of Palma, quaint little market towns, a growing number of luxury hotels, 
it's no surprise that the likes of Audrey Hepburn and Elizabeth Taylor like to holiday here. So come and join me as I take you round Mallorca. Thank you for watching the fan carpet. If you like this video, be sure to click that thumbs up button at the bottom of your screen. And also be sure to subscribe to the fan carpet YouTube channels. They're absolutely free. That's so much fun too. Be sure to check out the official website, thefancarpet.com. Also, you can follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram to stay up to date with reviews, competitions, the latest news, and so much more.